Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are checking out the Noble Collection Shop. You may mistake this shop for a museum, but unlike a museum, you can purchase everything that you see. You can purchase a replica of the Nimbus 2001 for 240 pounds, or the Firebolt for 280 pounds. Upstairs you will find a wide variety of plush creatures. The Nifflers range in price from 38 pounds to 12 pounds. Demiguys plush are 19 pounds. And the larger collector's plush is 38 pounds. The same goes for the Dobby plush. Collector's plush Hedwig and the normal plush Hedwig. You can purchase this very cool Fantastic Beast plush of Picket for 19 pounds. All of the prices are in Great Britain pounds, so if you are from a different country, like America for example, I suggest you open up a currency converter so that you can see how much things cost in your currency. Collector's plush of Crookshanks, standard Crookshanks, Fox. This is an incredibly detailed plush for 47 pounds. The Monster Book of Monsters. They have his tongue bookmark and of course his mouth and teeth. This is amazing. Collector's plush of Fluffy, as well as Buckbeak. Scabbers plush, which is actually in between the size of a collector's and a standard, but it's priced at 19 pounds. A variety of puzzles for 20 pounds each. Noble has a section dedicated to the different houses. House journals are 24 pounds. Fifteen pounds for the phone cases. The cool thing about these phone cases is the plaque is raised. Something I have not seen is they have house inspired wand stands as well as a Hogwarts wand stand. Pens and bookmarks. They recently released these new Fantastic Beast pens. You can purchase the Fantastic Beast pens and the Hogwarts House pens for 16 pounds. And to store and display your pens, you can purchase this Sorting Hat pen display for 31 pounds. I love these Noble Collection wand pens. They're 10 pounds each. Replica of Tom Riddle's diary for 24 pounds. Hermione's Time Turner, 44 pounds. 30 pounds for this beautiful Marauder's Map replica. House bookmarks and keychains are nine pounds each. The shop has a Victorian theme which just helps with the whole ambiance and magic of these incredible prop replicas and items. Through here is the Noble Collection wand section which makes you feel like you're just walking into a wand shop.
23 pounds for the wand replicas in window boxes. You can purchase character wand replicas in a character box, and that comes with a nameplate for 27 pounds. And for 30 pounds, you can purchase the character wand replicas in a replica Ollivander's box. You can also purchase wand sets. Dumbledore's Army and the Fantastic Beasts wand collection. Dumbledore's Army wand collection is 128 pounds. And something fun to mention, you can only purchase this Luna Lovegood wand in this set. This is Alessia from the Noble Collection shop. Hi. And she's going to tell us about the new Hagrid Lantern that you can perform magic with. This is the official replica, Hagrid's Lantern. And it can be run with our remote control wand. It can do this. So, then you can make it flicker if you want. Stay like this. This is so cool. <laughs> Right there. And that, and it goes off. Wow. <laughs> and these wands work for anything infrared, like televisions yes. or... So Hagrid's Blanchard is 55 pounds, and how much are the wands? Wands is 55 as well. Okay, so 55 and 55. Yeah. This is the place to go if you would like the Noble Collection Magical Creatures. They are 27.50 each. Aragog. A whooper, mountain troll, so many different options. Well, that was part one of the Noble Collection shop tour. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, anything that you saw today, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to you. Or you can contact me on Instagram at the Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm from Philadelphia, and keep collecting. Now, if you go downstairs, we've got our collector section, so it does appeal to collector a lot because we've got um, all the replicas uh, from Harry Potter, but also other franchises like Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, uh, and also our heritage section, so we've got loads of items that you can't find anywhere anymore because they're very old noble collection items. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?